Hey, what's up boys? Uh, we're back with another video. We just got here to Auto Stance where I am finally getting the Sylvia fully road legal. So the last thing that we need is some new harnesses. Uh, basically, since the last video, uh, the boys have fixed the brakes. We got some new harnesses. So just fitting in those in now and then I'm gonna go to the inspection, get the final inspection done and then hopefully in a few days when the authority card comes, we can get the WAF for it. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that uh, since last time we got the new ECU in the car as well as a dyno tune from JT Performance. So he chucked in a Heltec, I believe it's an Elite 550. Um, the old Stinger ECU used to be back here. We've still got it here actually, it looks so munted. Um, so that used to be there and it was in like a very kickable position. So he's tucked in the ECU up here. We got a nice Heltec in there. And um, he said that on the dyno, the valve springs were showing, uh, you know, they're a bit weak. Um, so it's probably why the car isn't making as much power as it used to. So about 10 years ago it made 250 kilowatts at the crank I believe and now we're just on a safe 210 but with these new AR1s all around the car it feels so much faster like just way way faster than it did before because the power is actually being put to the ground you know we were spinning in third and fourth gear with those old tires on it so it's gonna be really really good we're also a few days away from getting the bonnet for the car as well so we ordered that vented DMAX bonnet um, and I'm about to order some over fenders so you know we got the roof spoiler ready to go on the 326 wing the hood um, some new over fenders and yeah the car's gonna be looking real good real soon so I just got to finish getting these uh, harnesses yeah got to find a way to get into the back of the car it's quite tight and the seats don't go forward very far at all um, so we got to find a way to hook up these harnesses and then we're going to the inspection to get the final like motorsport inspection for the vehicle so I can get an authority card so that I can go to the WAF center and actually get a WAF. Sylvia is not starting. Not sure why. Yeah. Oh. So we finally got the S13 started. Uh, it's just a problem with the injectors. Basically, they're a bit shit. So uh, if it's cold and you just you know quickly drive it inside like they've been doing at the shop, um, they fuck out when you try to turn it on. It's flooding the engine and shit. So uh, James from J2 who tuned the car quickly came over. Um, got it started, cleaned the plugs, uh, took it for a quick rip and now that they are hot everything's all good. So yeah now we got to go to the motorsport place, uh, the racing club and get it inspected. So I'll see you guys there and hopefully it's all good. Okay so we just finished up here at the uh, racing club which is a uh, I think it's historical racing club uh, here in Mount Roskill and it's all good we signed off so I got the authority card just need to uh, send this form they basically just check that the car's safe um, the harnesses are sweet the seats are sweet the roll cage is all homologated and everything so now we are set to get a wasp so we can drive the race car on the road and we can go and enter into some track days which I'm really keen to do um, so yeah back to auto stance now drop the car off can't be driving it around on the green sticker and then in a, should, in a few days we should have the authority card in the mail. So, super stoked. Alright, so a bit of a change of plan. Um, basically, I thought that I needed my authority card, which is in the mail on the way to me now, uh, to get a WAF. But I called, just out of curiosity, I called BTNZ and I was like, yo, I'm going to bring my race car in, what do I need to get green sticket? And they were like, oh, you just need like, you know, this thing saying like why it's being suspended. And then, yeah, just come in, pay the fee, and you're sweet. So I'll try to hold them to their word on that. Um, you know, even if I've got the form here saying that I've got a motorsport authority card on the way, and I've got my license, and I've got the logbook and everything. So hopefully, 
we will be able to get a waft today. Uh, I was expecting to do it like next week, but I thought, you know, it's a Saturday, it's a beautiful day today, so might as well try and uh, do it. Um, so just rocked up here to Auto Stance, where all the boys are hanging out today, apparently. And are they? Yeah! <laughs> everything at this BTNZ they said it's too low so I'm going to the one up the road um, hopefully they have some different hubs that uh, I can actually get the car onto but it's looking good they didn't ask me for any uh, motorsport detail or anything they just said oh yeah chuck it on so should be right <laughs> All right, so we just got back from the WAF shop and it didn't pass, unfortunately. But we now know, I know, that you don't need a fucking motorsport license. You don't need an authority card. You don't need any of that bullshit. They didn't ask for shit, bro. I could have done this weeks ago. Anyway, apparently the, I mean, I knew the fuel was probably leaking a little bit because you could smell it, but apparently it's leaking a fair bit. Uh, I'm not sure where it is, so we'll have to sort that out. Uh, apparently the rear, where's the exhaust leaking? You see the pretty little yellow spot? Might be a little hole in the exhaust somewhere that we need to fix, so it's probably not too hard. Um, this light isn't taped on properly, that'll take a few minutes. And apparently these headlights are too dark, even though I'm pretty sure that isn't a tin, that's how the headlights came. So I'm not sure if we'll have to get some more headlights. And then the, the indicators are beeping a little bit too fast, so shouldn't be too hard. Um, but yeah, definitely not having it back today. Unfortunately, but um, yeah, we got a pretty busy weekend anyway. I wasn't going to be out driving it, and we got to take it um, to get painted and everything pretty much ASAP as soon as we get it back anyway, so it's not a big deal. But leave it here at Auto Stance and get the boys to sort it out, and we'll see you guys at Club Fest tomorrow. set up on the Ronin now, gonna get some shots of him, and everyone's still like, it's pretty fucking chaotic here. Uh, everyone's still like getting their briefing and shit, so later on, um, the little day we'll go out for some boosts in the GTR. Um, but yeah, for the next few hours we'll just be walking around, chilling out, we'll go check out some cars, so uh, just enjoy some footage then. How many cheeseburgers do you have? Three, I think. <laughs> some is pancakes. You got some pancakes? Yeah. You want some pancakes? Oh, he's got some pancakes. 
<laughs> uh, we're gonna go for a boost in Paul Subi now. First time going on the trek. I think this is my first time. Oh no, I went in a McLaren around the track once, and I've driven my I drove my 350Z around the track kind of slowly. But this will be my first time actually going for a proper cruise at Hampton. James's uh, 40 PSI GTR, obviously running like 40 pounds of boost. She's not sure if it's running that right now, um, but yeah, pretty crazy. I think it's about 700 wheel horsepower, sequential gearbox. Uh, yeah, it's probably the hardest pulling car I've ever been in that actually like hooks properly because I've been in some, you know, 1200 horsepower cars and they do not hook and just fucking pure acceleration as fast as that. Pretty crazy. Uh, so everyone's getting lined up to do some sort of fucking parade on the racetrack now. Um, it's really, really fucking hot here, like overheating, and kind of glad that I don't have my Sylvia here because it's just a bit of a shit show. Like, there's hundreds and hundreds of cars on the track at a time. You can't really drive that hard. There's a bunch here from um, that JT has worked on, and uh, we're with here with the Haltech boys as well, so pretty fun. I'm thinking of getting one of these for the Sylvia. One of these uh, Haltech gauge clusters. Let me know what you guys think. I think it'll be fucking sick and if you got like, the rev counter up here so you know when to shift and it's all customizable. It'll look a lot nicer than the uh, 1990 
dash, I think. Awesome day at the track. Um, it was fucking ridiculously hot, and I just jumped back into my car now, which has no AC. So, yeah, great time. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. Uh, that GTR is just fucking insane. Uh, really, really fun to drive in that. Unfortunately, like the main event for JT, uh, the roll racing, was like they only got to do one or two, like races each which is a bit bullshit apparently in other years I haven't been but apparently last time uh, you got like an hour or two to do it so yeah a bit of a disappointment uh, on that I wouldn't say it was a poorly organized event it definitely wasn't organized amazingly um, but yeah I feel like they were just trying to do a bit too much at once they had like girl drivers cage drivers non cage drivers um, normal cars doing roll racing like and then there's like cruises every 30 minutes and then they had brakes where clubs go, I don't know it was real confusing uh, no one really knew what was going on uh, yeah it was just a bit, a bit too chaotic and they had like over 500 cars there as you might have seen from the drone footage like it was just a bit too many people like you know I don't know but um, anyway it was pretty fun real tired now so I'm gonna go home and uh, just chill out with the boys have a shower get out of the fucking fast lane Fucking drivers. Look at my mirror just flopping around. Crazy. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe down below. I recently checked my statistics and 72% of people that watch my channel aren't subscribed. So subscribe below, new vlog every week. I look like shit, I'm so sweaty. Take care, have a good week, and I'll see you next time.